एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अ यूट्यूब चैनल आर आर पी आई आई टी अकेडमिक्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द बायोलॉजी ऑफ बिहेवियर सो बायोलॉजिकल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द ह्यूमन बिहेवियर इज अ क्रूशल फॉर द नर्सेज अदरवाइज दे मे लूज द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू ऑफन appropriate intervention to the patients so bio psychologist explain the difference in the human behavior are due to the genetic vari- variations uh, anatomical differences and development through the life span and the biological system uh, such as uh, nervous and endocrine system uh, for example people can't fly because they don't have the wings it is the anatomical reasons uh, so the uh, numerous factors that could influence the functioning of the brain uh, human behavior as uh, due to the developmental and mutation physiological factors mutations nutrition disease trauma and environment so body mind relation shape a complex is a uh, interrelation exist between the mind and body this means that the thought feeling belief and attitude can positively or negatively affect the biological functioning on the other hand that one do note with the physical body uh, sorry do with the physical body such as eat how uh, we much exercise even the postures can impact the mental state uh it could be a positive and negative so mental causations often figure eccentricity in the formulation of the mind body problem so let's discuss the body mind relationship so first of all effect of bodily condition on mental functioning when increased blood pressure causes the mental excitement to and severe pain reduce the concentration level and chronic illness causes the depressions and malfunctioning of the endocrine gland may exert full influence on the one's personality resulting in the lethargy and the nervous tension etc so the physical fatigue effect are more and reduce the emotion uh, reduce our motivation interest and the concentration brain injury effect many psychological functioning at the same time well developed brain uh, lead to the development of the better intellectual intellectual functioning so next are the effects of mental conditions bodily functioning so unpleasant emotions like a fear anger and worry cause the irritability insomnia headache etc so mental processes are the intimately connected to the brain or the cortical processes for example the depression effect thinking and memory so emotional conflicts are the responsible for the peptic ulcer and ulcerative colitis and so deep thinking and concentrations can cause the physical strain too so according to fra fernas alexander repressed 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 feelings of the hostility and the aggressions are the expressed through the nervous system and cause the hypertension and cardiac diseases so repressed repressed feelings of the dependency wish to receive the love affect parasympathetic nerve system nervous system resulting in the gastrointestinal disorder or the respiratory disorder so unconscious motivation and the conflicts give rise to the many physical complaints and the neurotic disorders like a conversion disorder so next relation between the body and the mind has an effect on the health and illness and if the relationship is the harmonious uh, it lead to the health and while an uh, adverse relationship lead to the illness if and if all the body and the mental processes working within the normal range the individual will have the good health and disruption in any one of the processes will lead to the mental illness so psychosomatic medication li- uh, deal with the physical diseases caused by the psychological factor and these patients 
uh, in this patient the treatment should be given for uh, both body and mind for example in case of the peptic ulcer the treatment include both the drugs and the psychotherapy the nurse should understand the interrelationship between the body and the mind and she should also understand the emotional factor underlying the disease of the patient so it is also uh, always necessary to uh, study the patient's physical and the uh, psychological problem in order to provide the comprehensive care so this is all about the body mind relationship I hope you understand thank you so much for watching the video